In this video, I'm going to do my best to explain DPI and print on demand. Is 72 DPI the best, 150, or does it need to be 300 DPI? I'll tell you in this video. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to explain the whole DPI versus resolution and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's really confusing. I get a lot of people asking me these questions in the comments and so I'm happy to answer it in this video. Hopefully I do a good job in explaining it, at least as far as I know. If any of you think uh, anything different, leave that in the comments if I didn't explain it right or if you understand it differently. Uh, this is the way I understand it and I'm going to explain it to you. So first, let's talk about the difference between pixels and inches. So pixels first is a unit of measure for resolution on a monitor or a screen. So on your phone, on your monitor, or anything that's digital like that where you see it. Uh, cameras have it, digital cameras have it. So uh, pictures are based on pixels for their pixels are the smallest unit of measure for those. So it doesn't actually measure for an inch or a dot or whatever. It depends on what size. Some uh, monitors are higher resolution so they can pack more pixels. The pixels are smaller. Some monitors, the older monitors, uh, don't have that kind of real estate. So you hear things like 4K monitors or um, things like that, high, high pixel monitors. So pixels are not the same as inches or dots in inches. DPI is for printing. So when you hear DPI, it's dots per inch. Uh, you may have heard Pixels per inch, that does not relate to printing. Pixels per inch is related to uh, things on the monitor. Again, screens, digital, what you see. So uh, DPI is dots per inch. So places like inkjet printers or when you print something uh, in the real world, uh, like a magazine or something like that, those are using DPI. So when you use inches, uh, if you do something that's 16 inches by 18 inches or whatever it is, uh, and do DPI, then DPI matters when you're using inches. But when you're using pixels, it doesn't really, we're talking apples and oranges at that point. So let me go and explain where the confusion may have come from. I'm going to go into uh, Amazon, Redbubble, Antipublic, just to show you what their recommendations are and maybe where this confusion came from. So first, Amazon. Here we are, Amazon Merch On Demand. Here's the best practices. This is where the 300 DPI comes from. I think most people are like, it has to be 300 DPI, but you notice it's not saying 300 DPI with 4,500 by 5,400 DPI because those two things are not related. If you're saving your document uh, in inches, then 300 DPI would matter. I think some people have just combined the two, three, 300 DPI and the pixel resolution and kind of made their own thing. Um, it doesn't necessarily say it right here. Here's Redbubble. You'll notice they don't actually talk about DPI at all. It's just resolution size. So right here it says uh, make sure that it's not above 300 megabytes, but uh, the pixel size also cannot exceed this. But when, when they talk about the size, your file size, your resolution size, it's all in pixels. They don't care about DPI or anything like that because they're different. They're not the same thing. And here on T Public, uh, this is designing file here. Um, and again, this one just says the recommend resolution is PPI, 150 PPI or above with dimension set at uh, 1500. But again, we're going way bigger than this anyway. And this is a screen size. So 150 PPI pixels per inch is not going to affect us anyway. And I'll show you what I mean when we go into things that we're exporting into. So the next thing we're going to do is go to something like Kittle, Canva, and Affinity Designer where we're actually exporting something and we're going to see the resolution and where it comes out and does it even say DPI or PPI or whatever. So let's do that next. I'm going to go into Kittle first and I think Kittle does a great job of explaining everything. All right, so here we are on Kittle. Kittle.com. I'm going to show you when you export. We're not going to actually create anything. I'm just going to pull up and start a new project. Uh, and then you're going to see what happens when we do a new project. So um, this is the unit pixels. So let's do pixels instead of inches. And we're going to do 4500 by 5400. 
So you can see by default, it's 72 DPI, but that DPI is related to things that are in inches. So postcards, four by six inches, business card, two inches by uh, three and a half inches. But those that are in pixels right here, the DPI doesn't matter. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So by default, I leave it at 72 because it really doesn't matter. So hit create here, and I'm gonna put in a photo just so you can see the DPI. I'm gonna stretch it out here. Full bleed, all right. Now, when I save this or whatever design we make on Kittle, when I come in here, you're gonna see 4,500 by 5,400. The export size is in inches and that's because it's trying to get the same resolution. For this resolution, how big does it have to be in inches with a DPI in inches? So with 72 DPI dots per inch, in order to get the same resolution, 4,500 by 5,400, it has to be this size, 62 and a half inches by 75 inches. Now, if we did this at 300 and then change this to 4,500 by 5,400, you'll notice that is kind of what we're looking for for print on demand. This 15 inches by 18 inches on a t-shirt, that's the size right there. So in order to get this resolution smashed down into this size, it's gonna be 300 DPI. So you'll notice if you do the math, so let's do a math for a second. Um, if we change this to 150, and then this still keeping it at 4,500 by 5,400, we need twice the amount of space to get that same resolution, right? So if you, if you take that 4,500 pixels, that resolution and divide it by 150, you'll get 30 inches. You'll need 30 inches to match the same resolution you would in a 15 inch. So now because you have less DPI, you need more space to match that resolution, that same 4,500 by 5,400. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and then when we do uh, PNG, these are for digital use. So PNG is in pixels anyway, and so everything's gonna be fine. So let's, let me show you what I mean with inches. So now let's change this unit to inches. Now then, now this matters for DPI. So you can see it changed. If I wanna keep this at 4,500 by 5,400, let's say uh, we wanna do that 15 by 18 inches, right, for print on demand, it has to be uh, 300 DPI. This is where the DPI matters, right? So now you can see the pixel size doesn't match. So I have to bump this up to 300 DPI and now the pixels match, right? So that's where the, the DPI and resolution kind of uh, mix together. So don't worry if you always have this on pixels in Kittle, it doesn't matter the DPI because the export size will be the right size in pixels. The DPI really doesn't matter at this point. Let me show you, uh, so this is Kittle and to prove my point on, well, let's go to Canva next and show you what they do in Canva. So here we are on Canva. I have this, I built it in here in Canva. This is one I did a long time ago, but when you export here, we're gonna download, you'll notice that the size here is in pixels. There's no thing for DPI. There's nothing to change for DPI or anything like that. So um, this is your resolution. If you want it bigger or smaller, you're changing the pixel size because we're doing PNG, right? If we did PDF, that's in inches, but you can see, again, there's still nothing for DPI. So maybe you're thinking, well, what if we build something new? Let's do that. So let's do, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go to Canva, create a design, um, custom size. You'll notice, again, there's nothing, but let's see if we do inches, still nothing. Nothing for DPI or PPI. It just automatically knows to keep it at a high resolution regardless of uh, DPI or PPI. So lastly here on Affinity Designer, I think this is where people get confused as well. So you also have um, pixels here. So let's change this back to pixels. When you create a document, you have 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels, and then it asks you for DPI. Now DPI, again, doesn't really matter. Uh, here, you can change it to 300 if you want. Uh, and I think by default it is 300. But again, it doesn't matter until you actually print 
and make it the right size in inches. So let me show you what I mean. Um, so we have DPI here. We're going to hit save. And so now this file is not in inches, it's in pixels, right? So let's say we created something on this file, boom, whatever our design is, and then we export. When we export it, we're exporting it at the pixel resolution. We're not exporting it at uh, 16 inches DPI, right? Now that may come into play when you're exporting it maybe for something like a PDF. So a PDF is getting printed sometimes. So that's when the raster DPI makes sense. So uh, you can still change it here uh, if you want something with less uh, DPI when you're printing it. But as far as PNG, which is what we're saving all our files as, uh, they're all gonna be in the resolution of pixels. And this high resolution 4500 by 5400 is gonna be more than enough to fit on your design unless you're designing for something bigger like we saw in Redbubble where it says to use like 7,000 um, pixels, not DPI. So pixels uh, needs to be bigger. But for t-shirts, for Amazon, t-shirts for T Public, or t-shirts for Redbubble or any of the print on demand, this resolution right here will be just fine. You, you saw that it's gonna be at 300 DPI because they're squishing down all the pixels to fit in that inch space. So hopefully all of that made sense. What you really need to know is if you're saving at 4,500 by 5,400 pixel size for your designs, for your t-shirt designs, everything should be okay. The DPI that you're trying to set is not going to affect your resolution for 4,500 by 5,400. It's going to be high enough for you to print something. So uh, you can try this out as well. If you do 4500 by 5400 and change the dpi you're, you'll see that it doesn't actually do anything because they're the same resolution that pixels is the resolution when you're talking about digital uh, designs like png so uh, hopefully this was really helpful another question a lot of people had was rgb versus cmyk i made a video for that right here if you haven't seen that click on this one right here that explains the whole difference of uh, rgb and cmyk colors uh, again, printing and digital, so we're, we're kind of trying to mash the two. Hopefully these really help you in your print on demand. Thanks again for watching, and as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.